IET, Chapel, with another Bangalore review. But I must say this is quite a sad day because I have got a lot of things that I need soldering done on for a few RC builds and FPV that I'm gonna do. And this is a FPV camera from Banggood as well, but I'll review that in another video. But yeah, I need these helping hands to help me solder. And this is just the most terrible, ill-fitting, utter load of nonsense I've ever bought. I mean, it costs around about 8 euros, but for 8 euros, at least that could, you know, be able to lock in place. Now, there's a little bolt under there, if you can see it there. It doesn't matter how tight you turn it, this just... What's this supposed to help you do? I mean, the design is stupid, and I'll show you that in a second, but the, the build quality and the fitment of these things, I mean, those there don't tighten that there. Very nicely. It tightens it once. And if you loosen it, forget it, you're not going to tighten it up again. These side arms move like they're supposed to, but I mean, that over there, look, look, just, just look at this. You tighten it up as tight as you possibly can, and it just it wobbles around all over the place. And the reason why I say this is the, the worst design, I mean, the designer designed this as an imbecile, and then the bigger imbecile is his boss, who signed off on this. That's meant to hold your soldering iron. Now, do you want to see what happens when you put your soldering iron in there? I mean, really? And, and if that wasn't really ridiculous, if it isn't ridiculous enough, there's LEDs there, and a magnifying glass, to help you when you're busy. Yep, because accuracy is exactly what you're going to get out of this, right? But, the battery hatch is at the bottom, right? And we've got three AAA batteries. I mean, if you're going to use this, you're probably a modular, you're doing some RC things, and you've got a bunch of AA batteries laying around. Why would you inconvenience yourself to run all the way to the store to get three specific AAA batteries? when they could have made this a little bit broader, which would have made it a lot more stable for your solder, and put AA batteries in there. I, I don't know, it's just... I bought a lot of things off Banggood, and I must admit, I'm impressed with a lot of them, but this right here, I'm not impressed with at all. So, step number one, take this piece of rubbish out, and dump it, because you're not gonna use it. And if you do use it and you're busy with a project, you're going to screw your project up with, so I highly advise you to not use that if you plan to keep this. Now, I'm not going to be sending this back because I actually need helping hands, and anybody who's bought anything from Banggood knows that the shipping is either free or it's super cheap, but it does take quite some time. And I can't wait another three weeks. I've already waited a month to get this. It's 20, 28 days, to be exact. <sighs> It's just disappointing. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to glue this into place. So the first thing I'm going to do is, try and get this screw out the bottom here. And I mean, there, there's what it locks onto, but it's just, it's still rubbish. And I'm going to take a bead of hot glue, I'm going to push the hot glue in there, try and pull it through, I'm going to put some there, and pull it through one more time. So, we at least have them, more or less, where we need them. And I'm going to try my best to lock it in place over there. And hope to God that the hot glue sort of keeps them where I need them there. And then what I'm going to do at the back here is, I'm going to loosen this up, I'm going to straighten it out. I'm going to shove some glue in the back there as well. Now, generally, what I would like to do is send this back to Banggood. Have them refund me or replace it with something else. There is a more expensive option, it's 13 euros. I'm not so sure how that one will work, but after having a look at this. <sighs> so, I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some glue in there. And yes, it's not going to look pretty, but it's going to work. 
I need it to be functional because I want to use it now. So I'm going to sacrifice and use it now. Chances are Banggood is not going to post this review. I really hope they do. If, if, they, if there's anything fair about them, they will post this review because, I mean, I'm talking about the issues that people are going to face with this thing. But yeah, I'm going to let that dry off and then, I don't know, <laughs> hopefully it'll help me with my project or oh, it's going to help me stuff it up. I've got things to solder. There's so many XT60 plugs, bullet connectors. So I need to solder. I need to solder these little battery connectors onto the FPV camera. I need to change battery connectors on a bunch of batteries that I have. And I need to solder some ESCs. And I need to solder some motors. Yeah, this is a motor that I got off Banggood. I'm going to need to solder this. And just with this piece of rubbish, it's just it's, it's impossible, really. Uh, should you buy this? No. Don't. Don't. It is cheap. It is useless. Do not buy it. Is this a good review? No, it's not. It's, it's the worst product I've got from Banggood to date. It's very terrible. Is Banggood a good store to use? Yes, they are. Is this a good product? No, it isn't. So I'm not going to put off buying things from Banggood because they actually have really good stuff and it's really price effective. If custom doesn't hit you, really hard depending on where you're from. But as for this, Disappointing. I'm sorry. I don't recommend it at all. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.